Hi everyone, Marion Emerson here. I've got my grubby little mitts on something. Look at these. These are Wow's first ever quads. Why are they called quads? Because you get four powders. And look at the packaging. No more of that plastic. This is the way they're going to be going. So they've got to get rid of all the other, like the trio plastic ones first. And then everything is going this way. And it's, oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Love it. Anyway, so we've got two from Seth Apter. We've got building blocks. So we've got brick, asphalt, granite and concrete. Very, very Seth, isn't it? Very masculine and, yeah, mixed media, brilliant. Then we've got citrus, and I love this. Again, from Seth Apter, we've got olive, rusty, tomato, and kiwi gold. Now, I believe, I'm not sure about these. Maybe they do. I should have checked, actually. But I know these go with these paper artsy paints, which I think are called the same. So... Oh, just gorgeous. These are the ones I'm going to work with. Then we've got a wow one called Fruit Puffs. Now, why did we call them Fruit Puffs? We've got Banana Puff, Watermelon Puff, Cucumber Puff and Bilberry Puff. So all lovely primary colours, but they're actually puff powders so that as you heat them, I will do a little sample, um, they raise up slightly and, and they're puffy. Like not not really not like liquid applique from years ago, but oh, they're just lovely, just lovely. So I'm just going to pop these out of the way because I thought I'd have a little experiment, as you do, because um, I got asked by the lovely Kim if I could use stencils in my doodah tool. So I'm going to do that. At the same time, I'm going to try these, but I just want to have a little play i need some water i'm not really organized right let's have a little look i probably need to oh this is where i got a slice down i'm not very good at slicing things let's go like that so just slice that now i know this is adhesive so i'm just gonna try I'm, i know i could rip it or cut it open but i'm trying to just be clever with it because some people might like to keep them in their packaging so let me just let's give that another little and hope i don't cut myself <laughs> let's go down a little bit more there we go okay oh my mum always said never leave scissors open never leave scissors open God, I'll tell you what, well, I've got to hand it to Well. They've used an incredibly strong adhesive on there. There we go. Which is good because you don't want it falling open. Ta-da. Go like that, like that, like that, and like that. Now, because I'm thinking afterwards, I could probably put them back in and close this back up again. And it will hold to a certain degree. I could even just run some repositionable down there anyway so they're all going to need a nice shape because they've all got extra bits in them i can see micas in there definitely definitely micas um so i'm gonna play i've got lemongrass to go with this one they're not going to be perfect matches in fact i don't want them to be perfect matches olive to go with martini um this one is rusty to go with mandarin spice and tomato to go with rouge so my cunning plan i need a bit of room <laughs> that's me cunning plan first of all i need room so let me just move all these over because i'm going to go from the lightest because i've got this lovely layering stencil set this is golden days and then let's let's bring this in and this now i'm thinking if i put my card on there oh i don't need that do i i always forget that right, let's just move that over and then if i take this she said, 
is pulling it off. I should have got it all out beforehand. So this is what I like about it because you can position it where you like. But then I don't have to have this on here. I can put this where I like. Let me go there. So I've got number one, which would be about there. Okay, no good. I want to move it over because I don't want it. Oh, that's nice. I don't want the whole, obviously I'm not going to fit it all on my card size anyway. Um, but I didn't want it like, like that, basically. I want it sort of hanging over just a wee bit. So that should be perfect. So if I now take, because this isn't a Sizzix stencil, I think I've got some of these open, I'm sure I have. But never mind, I can reopen these because I bought more. Um, so these are the little universal adapters. I could just have this sticking on here, but I don't want to. I want to try it on this because I got asked. So I'm going to, if I just put that there for the moment, raising that up exactly where I want it. That can go there. That can go there, and then I can just stick that down. Let's have a look. So have a look, see. Perfect. Right, so I need a paintbrush. I've got my water. I'm going to keep this because I'll take these off of here and just stick them back on there and reuse them. So don't feel that you've got to leave them on there. Okay, um, I think what I might do... No, no, I'm going to do this. Right, so lightest colour first. Lemongrass. Let's have a little bit of lemongrass. And I'm just going to come off here first of all, so I'm not too heavy. And just go round and fill this up. Now, I know this is the right one because it's got a number one written on it. And I do love that. For numpties like me, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to fill fill up doesn't matter if you don't get it all perfect it doesn't have to be uniform all across it and in fact i think it looks nicer if it isn't personally but you know if you do something like this then that's your choice so let me just have a little look see du -du -du. lovely like that and then my cunning plan is i can take this bad boy off a minute lift this off grab myself a piece of paper and then i'm not going to use it as a spray oops i could have just tapped it on actually let's just put that over there i'm just gonna throw some not throw some water i'm not gonna throw water on it what am i talking about <laughs> don't, don't, don't listen to me <laughs> oh dear Right, oh, look at that. Okay, so we might not see lots of the micro. I don't know, it depends how big my blobs are. So I'm just going to go blob, 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 blob. And a bit more. Th this might not work. This this might go horribly wrong, which wouldn't be a surprise. Now, because it's got lots of bits in it, I'm going to tap it on rather than throw it on. And that means the heaviest bits will come out first so see all that lovely mica coming out that's perfect so just tap 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 okay that's it. anything that's got like really big bits in um and the reason i'm saying this is because soon i can't say just when but soon i've bought out a trio and it's going to have some big bits in Right, let's get another paintbrush and just get rid of those bits. You know what I could have done? I could have left the stencil on. Tap, tap, tap. I think that's what I'll do next time. See, I learn as I go along myself. Okay, so, so we've only put it on with water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat from underneath. So this is important.
Okay, so I gave that a little tap with the heat tool just to see if there was anything loose on there. You can give it a flick, or a tiny little bit came off then. Give it a flick, that's absolutely fine. Right, let's get this back in the jar. And then I'm just gonna go through with each layer and each color. So I'll whiz through on that and I will see you on the other side. Right, let me just come back in because this was really, really wet, this ink. It's a very new one to me. So, or I haven't used it much. So I'm just gonna go in with a bit of powder, a little bit of talc, just to absorb some of that moisture and clean it all off afterwards. Now let's go in, because I don't want the powder to stick everywhere. It might still, I don't know. Okay, so I didn't think it would be straightforward <laughs> and it wasn't. I'm not very good at lining these things up and, and you saw me go into here because I was told that they do a thing in the centre uh, inside, but it still doesn't really tell you where to lay, like to place it. This just says which layers it is, but I think now they actually give you placement of it. Whether I got this right or not, I don't know. I think it looks okay, um, as in where it is. But actually, with all the texture and bits of colour of embossing powder on there, I think that looks fantastic. So I'm just going to mount that. I might need to trim it down. I'm not sure. Um, I need to flatten it for definite. Um, and I keep being reminded to run it through my big shot. Just give it a quick little spritz and then run it through my big shot to flatten it out. So I'm going to do that. I will clear up all these um, and I can reuse this again. So I did keep my little bit. So let's just place that on here. Oops. Like so. And I can just reuse these. And then I'm just going to quickly show you what the other colours look like. I'm really, really pleased with that. Right, so let me just get this going through the big shot so it can start um, flattening. Get rid of that. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm going to use my favourite leaves just to show you what these are going to look like. So let me get these out the way. And then I'm going to open these ones. Okay, so that one was a bit harder to open. I don't know if their tape is too sticky. It's a fine line, isn't it? Because you don't want them falling apart. But, you know, it takes a little bit to open them. But then if you've got a proper craft knife and not scissors. I don't like craft knives. So I'm really not very good with them. Um, and you might not want to, like, close it back up. You might not want to keep them in their things. It's, it's entirely up to you, but I just think by doing that, the option is there. Okay, so let's go with these ones, first of all. I'm just going to be really simple and stamp out. Let's grab a piece of card. We'll just do the same thing so you can sort of make a comparison. Piece of card. And then I need this. Here I go. I start getting in a right old mess. And I think, yeah, 
I think what I'll do is just put these on as so. So we'll go one there. We'll have a little one there. So have that one there. And then, oh, let's go. You know what? I don't think I'll ever use this one by the looks of it. And we'll have that there. And then I'll just do them both exactly the same. So, let me bring it. Oh, good set. Oh, right, see? And that's why you have your lids on. <laughs> you saw me earlier. Okay, so I'm just going to do one in each colour. I'm not very organised because I haven't got my ink pad out. Because I wasn't going to do this. There we go. Oh, oh, here we go. So I've stuck them too hard. Okay. You can go in there. I shouldn't really put my fingers all over it because we know that. Let's get this down. Now the risk you run of doing it like this is if one of them is slightly deeper than the other, it's not gonna stamp properly. So if you wanna be perfect, where's me? Can't find me doodah now. Um, if you wanna be perfect, you can just do one at a time. I'm just being lazy and quick. Let's have a look. It looks like I've got most of it. I'm just going to do a little bit more. I mean, if you love mixed media and you love masculine cards, imagine it like a, a brick wall stamp, something like that. It's just, yeah, wonderful. So these aren't going to be perfect cards. They're not meant to be um, anything fancy. I'm just literally showing you the colours. So I'll put them out of the way with that because I can put them up. getting in a right old mess. Get rid of some of that that I dropped earlier. Oh dear, I don't know. Right, move that one over. And then, where's another piece of card? Another piece of card. I feel like I've lost a bit of my sticky on here. I probably have, I've got a bit of powder on there. So that's no good, is it? Right. Same thing, where's these colours? These are the puffs, fruit puffs. Now, even though they're solid colours, I still give them a shape, probably because it's just a habit I'm in. But let's just go along and do this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you can see that I've missed some there and there. This is quite old, this ink pad. I do need a new one. I don't think I've got any new ones with me. Um, well, that was a January 24. That might be newer than that one. Um, so what I'm going to do is heat set it and then see if I can lay it back in again in the right place. <laughs> this will be fun. I don't know if you can see can you see how puffy that is and it lovely i don't want to touch it yet because it's still going to be warm i might oop, squidge it that's not too bad 
Look how puffy that is. Isn't it brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. I actually quite like it like that. <laughs> but then these two aren't. So let me see if I can just do it again. And if I can't, then I'll just throw it away. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the colours. They look cool. Right, give it a good flick. Make sure I line it up the right way as well. So let's put that there, I think. Let's have a little look-see. Looks okay-ish. Right, let's try again. So I'm probably, I'm probably not gonna bother with the green. Probably won't bother with the yellow, so just this one. Oh no, just this one and this one, isn't it? Yeah, just these two, the blue and the red. So let me just get a bit more ink on there. Oh, I'm using the 24 one now. Let's see if that's, oh yeah, that's nice and juicy. Well, it fills it anyway. Okay. And then pop that down. Let's have a little look. It looks okay-ish. You won't know until you put powder on it. But we'll see. that off and then we'll pop some more blue on there oh no I still ain't got it all oh actually I probably should have pressed harder because it's raised isn't it duh oh well we're just gonna go for that look <laughs> that'll do oh dear see I should just stop where I am It's got a little more on there. Then again, in that bit, fairness, I did um, wipe it off. Maybe I wiped it a bit too hard. Honestly, would anyone believe I've been embossing for over 45 years? Look, I didn't get rid of all of it. So now it's all gone on there. I can get rid of a little bit more. But... Oh dear, but you get the gist. Actually, look at now, I can see that. Can you see it? That's just so cool, how textured that is. Oh yeah, oh that's lovely. Not saying leaves are the right thing for it, but it was just what I grabbed, so that's the, um, oh, let me know what they're called. This one is Fruit Loops. Oh, Fruit Puffs. <laughs> there are other breakfast cereals available. Um, and this one is Building Blocks. But my favourite is this one, which is called Citrus. So I'm going to pop this on a card base. Again, I'm using my lovely Wow cardstock. I just do it so that it's edge to edge there and I just have a bit of white showing down the side and pop a little sentiment on. So I hope you enjoyed that little sneak of what I got my grubby little mitts on. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you order these through the Wow websites, so that's the WOW UK site or the WOW USA site. I will put links. Um, and you put in a code W-O-W-D-T-M-E. WOW D-T-M-E. You'll get 10% off not only whatever you buy like these, but any of your products that you buy on WOW. Um, unless maybe they're already discounted and no shipping. So not no shipping. No. Oh, Marion, get it right. You don't not get no shipping. You still pay for shipping, but you don't get 10% discount for shipping. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway, thanks ever so much. Bye.